IV access in the non-perfusing patient has always been a challenge. To answer that challenge, we've come up with intraosseous medication administration. It's very simply a hollow needle that reaches into the inside of the bone, into the bone marrow, through which you can deliver medication. The most common place to put it is two finger breaths distal to the tibial tuberosity on the medial side of the leg, where it's very shallow. There's two parts of the system. One is a drill and one is the needle. The needle is metal and the drill is magnetic, so it holds it in place. The needle is placed onto the drill, inserted through the skin, and when resistance is met, the drill is activated to place the needle through the bone itself. If the needle is in place correctly, it should stand up, should not be wiggly, and should not require anything to keep it in place. The stylet is removed, and the end of the needle is a standard IV lower lock connection, which can be extended using IV tubing. A syringe is placed on that tubing and is pulled negative. In some situations, you'll get bone marrow or blood back into that syringe. If you don't, it does not mean that you're not in place. It simply means that you're not aspirating through the needle. The needle should be flushed, and once it is, it can be used for anything that you can give IV. You can give blood products, you can give medications, you can give anything that you can give intravenous through an IO needle. It's a very convenient, fast way to obtain IV access in a cardiac arrest patient.